Welcome to part 15 of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. We're going to get the bombs from Nico. However, we have to go through another obstacle course just like we did with part 3 when we get, got the spoils bag. Here's the thing. Aside from Majora's Mask, this is the only other game. Well, and uh, Minish Cap. This is the only other game where you actually have to do a side quest just to get a bomb. Or a bomb bag. You, honest to God... Don't have to buy them or find them in the dungeons. Anyway, the password we got from Gonzo and the other guy is a pun on sharks. Chumley is what you make out of shark fins. Just thought I'd let you know. It's basically ground shark. And yes, I'm allergic to that too. And it's rather disgusting, so... In my opinion, I would suggest you stay away from it like the plague. Anyway, now it's time for us to walk into Tetris Rune because that goon is not uh, blocking the path. You'll notice something very strange. You see that picture right here? Yes. This is actually NES Zelda. Yes. Tetra has a picture of NES Zelda, which means NES Zelda is Tetra's grandmother. So now... We meet up with Nico once again. Actually, that was rather Ocarina of Time, Zelda, which is Tetris' grandmother, but that's the point. Point of the matter is, Nico is so happy to see you because everybody treated him like shit once you left and got caught up on um, Forsaken Fortress. So now we got ourselves a new obstacle course. The difference is, instead of the Switch, uh, triggering platforms for you to swing from platform to platform, you're gonna have to channel your inner Tarzan and get to the other side before the gate closes. And this is where most of the time limit would be consumed if you don't know what you're doing. And also the tricks of stopping in mid-swing and aiming your jumps beforehand this would actually be, uh, <clears throat> this would actually be the part where, um, it would frustrate many gamers. However, here's the thing. In the Wii U version, I keep bringing up the Wii U version because there's some things they did right and some things they did wrong. The Wii U version of Wind Waker puts all the ropes closer together as opposed to far apart to make you get by this easily. But they are, in contrast, stricter with the time limit you have to get to Outset Island than what the GameCube version is. Like I said, the Wii U version does some things right and does some things wrong and also screw up things in contrast but at the same time, try to make things less of a hassle. I know it sounds confusing, but that is exactly what it does. Now then, you only have like one minute to get from point A to point B. It's gonna be like a very tedious thing to do. And some people thought that this time limit is punishing. The only thing that is punishing here is the fact that auto jump when it comes down to the uh, swinging on the ropes, is your enemy. Because you can miss a uh, cue and miss fire at any time. And by the way, for the record, I'm not doing this intentionally. I didn't mean to jump off of the rope. I'm not doing that intentionally. Sometimes that happens too. You lose your grip on the rope when you're trying to swing across, or you don't have a good enough swing. Auto jump again is not your friend when you're trying to swing from uh, rope to rope. You're gonna have to build momentum and also uh, slide a little bit lower on the lanterns. Now, you can actually try to skip a phase if you're lucky. Hold on. You have to try to aim for the rope. And you gotta be careful because you may end up inadvertently jumping down and missing the rope. Hold on. No, bad, bad past me. A little bit further to the left. Damn it. Ah, I was.
is doing so good so far. I'll get it this time. It tends to happen a lot, but you can always reset your time. But again, as I said, they're good. Nintendo actually put the ropes closer together as, as opposed to them being farther apart to make it easier and then put more ropes in so you'll be able to make it across this area without any problems. I'm telling you now, there's just some things that Nintendo did to try to make the experience longer that they could have done without. Like when I mentioned something about them raising the platforms and the ropes in the Wii U version to try to keep people from breaking the game and also raising the main platform to get to Nico. And I mentioned this in part three, by the way. <clears throat> Here, they would actually uh, make you have more ropes to swing across from instead of it being a long leap of faith because they push the gate further back. And that's a stupid design uh, choice. I mean, people complained about how brutally hard this is, but actually timing is the key. I say it's the worst part of the game because it actually takes up way too much time. And <clears throat> more importantly, it leads you to a stealth section in the beginning of the game. And in this game, you'll end up going into sections that will need to that you'll need to practice swinging on however you'll be using the grappling hook for most of those sections as opposed to these lanterns the only time you'll even need these lanterns actually will be near the end of the game so yeah that's the only reason you would actually re remember how to do this but once you get there you saw how time almost expired by the way once you get there, you'll be able to make it. No problem. I had to break sequence in order to get... Well, I didn't break sequence. More like I had to time my jumps completely in order to get there. And no, there isn't a rope for you to use your grap... I mean, a pedestal or a ledge or something to grapple on with your grappling hook. Because if there was... I would have made a complete swing over to the middle of that room long before he actually started the match. I mean, started the uh, test. And it would have been a hell of a lot easier. But, nonetheless, this will be the last time we will be doing any tests from Nico. Because the pirates, we probably won't see them again. We got ourselves some bombs, and now we can carry up to 30. Oh, but that's not all, folks. Now that bombs are in our inventory, it's also going to be in other shops' inventory. So it'll be in your best interest to pay those shops a visit. And a certain someone will change his tune later on after we finish dealing with our second visit of Forsaken Fortress. So, yeah. That's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. No thanks to you, bitch. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet. Because I was tossed from the tower by a giant bird. You don't give things much thought, do you? You rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Yeah, and you heard no help. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jobin's treasure too! Right now, Jobin is hiding in a cave in the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking the door down. 
We're gonna relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find job in the night, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow, and believe you me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Again, they're not kidding. You only have a limited amount of time to get there. If you don't, it won't be the pirates that'll be uh, paying a visit to Outset Island. Your island will end up being sunk courtesy of Jobin so that no one will get their hands on the pearl. So, yeah. I think it's best we have to we hightail it out of here. Come, come on, get back on, get back off the boat, get back off the boat. Thank you. <clears throat> it's best we hightail it out of here and sail our way to Outset Island. And this is going to be one hell of a long sail because we'll be going south. Well, southwest actually. Oh, and by the way, red mailbox. Might as well check that out. Hey, 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 investigate the mailbox. Good evening. We have two letters for Army Man. Here's your letter. Notice from Beetle Shop. Oh, right. I forgot. Beetle does get inventory, but you want to know what else he does? He gives you the Beetle Shop chart. And the Beetle Shop chart will show you where all of the floating shops are. But the second letter you get is from Orca. As he asks you to find some Nice Crest. And unfortunately, the monsters who have the Nice Crest, we haven't unlocked that dungeon yet. So, uh, yeah, Orca's gonna have to wait till later. Right now, Let's just hop in the King of Red Lions. Yeah, you're gonna progress time even further? Okay. So, we're gonna have to leave this place immediately, and you're telling us the uh, instructions, and uh, yeah, you're, you're delaying time even further. But I will say this. Brace yourselves again, because this trip is rather bumpy. You'll run into, uh, Octoroks, you're gonna run into, uh, Georgs, you're gonna run into Peahens, you're probably gonna run into far worse things than you can imagine. But we're going southeastern for one reason and one reason only. I don't want to run into a big octave. Not yet, anyway. Because those things will take up time. And I also don't want to run into a cyclone, either. Oh, and just so we're clear, you'll know when time is up. When you start seeing your, uh, compass go from night to day. So don't spend too much time hanging around with Nico or lollygagging around trying to do side quests because you are on a time limit. And yes, everything will be as if you're either A running into a big octo or B running into a cyclone. And I'm saving this. For one reason and one reason only. If I run into a big octo, I am resetting this game. Seriously. And that and I haven't seen in a while. Anyway. This right here pushed the GameCube to its limits. And for all intents and purposes, it is a really good game that have aged pretty well. Oh, and for the record, might as well show off uh, treasure charts. Treasure charts, uh, 
Oh, I actually have uh, Outset Isle there. Uh, but treasure charts would actually match the location of where you are to the location of treasure. And again, this isn't going to be a 100% playthrough. I will again try to get at least one row of hearts, if not one in a couple of hearts. Still, uh, there's a Gjord right here. Oh yeah, and unlike uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker does not have anyone to tell you the enemy's names or weaknesses. So, yeah, you just gotta target them and kill them if you have to and pray for the best. Of course, Georg would probably be an unappropriate new name shark. Or some sort of fish monster, one of the two. Because that boss sucked in the Majora's Mask. I don't care what anybody says. Oh god, that was close. An outset's a very far distance away. No, leave me alone! Oh, damn it! Yeah, you gotta be careful. Because if you don't, yeah, you're gonna end up dying in the water. And it's really dark, too. I can't believe I got knocked off my damn boat. Don't worry, we're almost there. We just gotta brave through this whole entire area, watch out for seagulls, and also go through a couple of more quadrants of this bullshit. Now then, anything else I need to say about this? Yes. This will be the last time you'll be seeing me, uh... Well, this is the second to last time you'll be seeing me, uh... Filming me going to and from Outset Island on a boat. There's one last time we need to do, and that is trying to get the, uh... Fourth dungeon unlocked, or should I say third dungeon unlocked. No, wait, no, no, I'm right, the fourth dungeon. Because the fourth dungeon... Tactically, it was destroyed, so we have another fourth dungeon, which happens to be the Tower of the Gods. And we gotta wait for that to be unlocked. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get it. I wanted to mark this area, but I can't. Okay, we're gonna also aim south here. Come on! All right. We just gotta be careful of how we position ourselves south because you never know what you're gonna run into. Probably in, uh, another group of gorgs or some peahens. God, the peahens are gonna be annoying to deal with. But, also, keep in mind that the draw distance, uh, how should I put it? This isn't the HD version, so draw distance can be a real big issue. You won't know what island you're on until you mark it. I was trying to mark that to see where I was, and of course I was on Griffith's Island, but still, marking it is a good idea. Oh, look. I'm gonna have to deal with that later. I'm not coming back here until I get the bigger bomb bag, because you need the bigger bomb bag. Well, you can do this without the bigger bomb bag, but it's easier with the bigger bomb bag. Trust me. Having 99 bombs is a fun thing. We should be headed straight for uh, Outset Isle, and it would be a good thing to do that, <coughs> because, again, if I was to check my time right now, you would probably see 
that it's starting to get into morning. Let's see, there's no cyclone so far, that's a good thing. Ah. But that's gonna be a pain in the butt when I actually try to pursue the Oh god, not this guy again. But as I was saying, it's going to be a pain in the butt for those cyclones, because one of the cyclones happens to be on one of the islands that we're gonna have to put one of the pearls on. So yeah, there's that. Let's see, anybody else? Any oh, there's that thing again. <sighs> this is gonna be rather annoying. And of course the animation is starting to drop. And uh-oh. Oh boy. That was close. <clears throat> It was starting to slowly but surely turn into, uh... Morning, actually. Sorry for the uhs and ums, but I'm trying to get my thoughts straight. But it was slowly but surely trying to turn into morning. And thankfully, it went back tonight because we made it here in time. Yeah, just chalk it up to dumb luck. And if we come here, of course, we're going to be perched on here. Have you noticed, RV Man? Morning have not broken since we've arrived at Greyfish Isle. The land was so ravaged by monster. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if night does not end, then we need not to worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. You could speak at, with Jabin after you do. And he's not kidding. He's forcing you to go and see all of your family and friends. But right now we've got something much more important than that. Uh, there's no dancing postbox this time. Yes, we are going to see our family and friends, but that's going to probably be in, uh, part, I do believe, 16? Oh, over there, we won't be able to do much for right now, because we don't have the means to get, uh, in there. Ah, uh, and that pig, I think that pig was a side quest, too. A side quest, which I could have used to get a heart piece before I left, but I didn't think about it. Alright. I better have my sword ready because, yeah. These things. Apparently, the monsters just inhabit outside Isle while it's dark. And it's gonna be like that for the remainder of the game. I think it was gonna be like that for the remainder of the game. Or at least until we find J Jabin, one of the two. Ah, stuttering, sorry. But I do know this. This hill we're going to, whether there's actually fiends in the village or not during dark, this hill, whether it's dark or not, will have mini blends hiding in the distance. Ugh, this is why I had my sword out for these things. And speaking of the devil, they should be coming right about now. Assholes. Die already. Oh, oh, come on. Just get the hell out of my way. Oh, I'm starting to hear them more. It's okay, though. They're not the least... I mean, they're the least of my concern right now, so long as I'm not stuck in that trench. Anyway... Uh... There was a rock that we could have gone to that we needed 
to use the magic leaf for. But unfortunately, in order to do that, we're gonna need the magic extension for it. So I'm gonna wait on that. However, this particular uh, rock that we're gonna be using the magic leaf for is used to get us across so we can get to the ferry. And the ferry is something that we need in order for us to complete the game because we need more than just 200 rupees as Tangle as a freaking cheapskate. Oh, and thanks to the fact that we've beaten enemies in Forbidden Woods, guess what's going to be here? Enemies from Forbidden Woods! Yes, even the annoying little two-type games. Ah, oh, I hate those things so much. Get off me. I don't want a hug. Alright. This is where we need to be. So let's try to climb up this rock and bomb this place. Because now we have the bombs to do it. And Tingle was probably the one that put that note in there. Also, you in your first time playing wouldn't know about this spot until you actually talk to the villagers. The villagers will actually let you know about this spot. And once you do know about the spot, you'll be able to come here to get a rupee purse upgrade. So you'll be able to hold more rupees. This is actually more important right now. And it's a good thing I dealt with it. Anyway, here is what the fairies look like as opposed to the fairies from Ocarina of Time. Ironically enough, the great fairy from Ocarina of Time is a playable character. Or should I say a playable weapon, one of the two. But this great fairy sort of reminds me of Izanami from Persona 4, and, uh, yeah. Not in a good way. But at least this fairy helps you. I Izanami, I, I think she can go to hell. But anyway... If you didn't have fairies in your bottles, the great fairies save for one, when you meet them in the fairy fountains, will dissipate and turn into fairies. And that's the end of this part. Speaking of which, if you don't already have a fairy, get one now because Grandma's gonna need it. And we're gonna need those bombs too because we gotta break open Chobin's Wall in part 16. See you guys next time.